Hey folks, it's Panamachi here and welcome to a let's try of Armored Warfare. Armored Warfare is produced by Obsidian Entertainment and it's a free to play modern tank combat game with both game, game modes for both PvP and PvE. Uh, it is essentially, um, as you would imagine, a world of tanks but based around 21st century and 20th, late 20th century um, armoured vehicles. So it's basically a modern twist on a on a classic game. Now it's got nothing to do with the wargaming uh, World of Tanks. It is its own game in its own right but unfortunately for it, it has come into a market just like um, Steel Ocean in the last video I did. It's come into a market that has been dominated for a long time by a well-established uh, company that have been producing fine content for years. So it has a lot to live up to. Now I initially downloaded this game way back, I think it's an open beta at the minute and you can go download it on their website, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But I only ever played the one battle in this AM113. Uh, it's quite an ugly tank, if I do say so myself. Um, and a thing that must be pointed out is that I just recently updated to the HD client and I have everything on Ultra and the tank's still not that great looking but we'll, we'll look past that for now. What else do we have here? We have the PT-76, which is, uh, <laughs> it's not, not that great looking, and we have the T-62 VET. This is a special tank that everyone is entitled to, and it was released on Veterans Day back on the 11th of November. And if you log in, download the game and log in now, either if you're a new player or a past player that hasn't played in a while, you will still get this tank up until the 22nd of November. We are just going to jump into a battle with this one, but we're just going to take a look at how things are in the general layout here. Um, as common to these type of games, we do have our consumables here, and I have uh, got a repair kit, first aid kit, and fire extinguisher, which is the sort of similar three items that I would have in things like World of Tanks and World of Warships. Um, I have no idea what retrofits are, but um, there is none available on this vehicle, so we won't have to worry about it for now. Uh, you have your ammo and you can have different types of ammo loaded, uh, your crew and of course the upgrades like most of these games. Now, the green dragon, I'm assuming that's the uh, the next tank or something, but due to the fact these are all based on modern tanks, I'm not too sure, you know, of the, the logical, chronological advancement because I'm a World War II buff. Um, I know everything about World War 2, but this is apparently the, uh, you're not buying a nation's tanks, you're buying from dealers. And so we shall go into the blue guys, which I'm assuming represents America. Um, and here's our initial M113. Next we can get a Patton 48, which doesn't look too bad. Or you can go for a more lighter vehicle. Um, Due to the fact that it reflects more modern tanks, you do get a sort of nice variation of things, such as this, which just looks more like a glorified people or a troop carrier or something like an armored car, to the classic, uh, the classic, I seen it earlier. Yep, the M1 Abrams and the Leopard 2. So there is a wide range of things to go for. The thing I haven't noticed is maybe it's because uh, I'm not too familiar with modern tank technology. The, the alternatives to the are self-propelled guns and artillery. But that's nothing to worry about it now. So let's see what the other dealer presents us with. You've got the T-54. The Chief. And of course there is always the potential for further expansion. Um, similar to the uh, Wargaming games. There's 10 tiers of tanks to make your way through. And of course there is the option of Premium. So if you're willing to fork over a bit of cash, you could... Uh, uh, jump a few ranks and get a tank of your choice. But we're not going to do that. Um, another thing to point out before we uh, jump into your match here. There is PvE missions. You can join up with a few uh, mates of yours and take on a AI battalion. So that's an interesting angle I think because uh, for those of you who have played a lot of these sort of vehicle based combat games be it War Thunder um, World of Tanks or World of Warships, etc. It can get frustrating after a while. Um, and whilst, for example, World of Warships has their... They do have a PvE element. 
and it's what you actually do when you first get into the game. You and uh, all their players randomly just take on a team of AI. Um, this seems to have a more fleshed out PvE system and it's something they are focusing on and furthering, furthering their development of it. But enough waffle, uh, let's jump into a PvP battle and see what the game looks like whilst playing. 180 something players in the queue, quite a few players actually playing which is nice to see. And of course there must be self propelled guns because there are 67 of them <laughs> currently waiting to get into battle. I'm hoping that the uh, queue isn't too long because I can only waffle for so long before silence uh, joins us. I think it might be just around the corner. But uh, uh, one of the reasons why I never really got into this game or never, I never had a reason not to get into it. But one of the reasons why I just didn't grab the ball by the horns and start playing it was the fact that the modern tanks didn't appeal to me as much as you know the World War Two tanks. Being a avid history fan or fan of history in general, and especially World War Two, um, I love being able to hop into a T thirty four or a Tiger one and go on you know toe to toe with those kind of tanks because I know them. Uh, you've seen them on TV. You've seen them in films. Um, I've studied them. You know, written essays about them. So it was always nice just to be able to experience a bit of history. But these tanks is just not of the same. So we've got an urban based map here. Battle starts in 30 seconds. I like the Chinooks going overhead. So I do. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. I'm trying to see now, unlike thing, can we increase the uh, minimap size? Nope, not at the minute. Or is uh, sets the acceleration going so I don't have to hold in W which is always a nice feature Let's see now. okay now this is a, a thing I don't like about if anyone's played the tank game mode in War Thunder for example um, their tanks feel a bit too loose and you're going down the street and if you turn around a corner you're drifting nearly and tanks, tanks don't drift um, especially since they're based on you know, World War II era tanks, and it's nice to feel as though you know you feel as though you're actually controlling a machine here. You know there, there's a certain weight to it, which uh, War Thunder hasn't managed to to provide me it, and you know that's nice driving skills with both of us. So that's good. Uh, we have an enemy spotted over in G2. I don't want to just run into this battle here. I have a habit in World of Tanks of just. Running in, being the first one in combat, yes, you have a chance to pick off a few light enemies early on, but you're also usually the one that's killed first because it's bad, bad strategy. And whenever you're not... Ooh. Okay. Do we have destructible buildings in general? Because I think I actually remember reading this shit somewhere. And boom. Nope. That didn't work. Maybe the guns are too light, but I'm pretty sure I saw a video that you can, uh... Yeah, there's destructible environments. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there is one map in particular of a bombed out city. So the buildings are just shells. You can actually just knock those buildings down by just shooting the walls out. We have a few enemies over to the right here. They've got the high ground as well. Um... Another one. Come on. Ah, oh, he's a bit lower down. He had a bit of cover. Die car. Don't want to get pawn from up there. But I do want to get shots on people. Oh, he's a lot heavier tank than me. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Come on. Pick your big fucking metal nose out. Whoa. There we go. Enemy destroy. Oh, get out of the way, guys. Sitting back there. 
let's just run over here. Yeah. Something satisfying about just crushing things as you're driving an attack. It's such a childish reaction to things, but oh oh. Someone to your right here. He's in a T fifty four. And am I stuck? No. Don't want to get pawned from the sides. I think our in, yep, our allies got him. Our team seems to be in control at the moment. Oh, do, 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 bad idea. Hills and tanks do not agree. I'm getting out flanked down here. There you go. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Where is my health bar? Okay, down there. <laughs> The reason I can't find my health bar is that there's none left of it. 16 HP out of 666. Nice. Not so good. Where? Elite tank driving skills. He's just waiting for me. And there we go. <sighs> Was not looking and got outflanked. However, our team is in pole position here. They have three tanks left compared to our eight. They now have two. And this guy's just sitting back, popping away. One left. And he's been hunted down by two tanks, as you can... Uh, and there we go, a victory. Now we got, uh, we got one kill and we did a bit of damage to other people, so I'm not too disappointed with that match. So why not? And let's see now how the... Uh, bonuses and XP are handed out and see if if the game would be uh, too grindy in nature um, there's nothing more annoying than jumping into a free to play game like this and the game having the option to go premium of course to get XP bonuses or to buy premium tanks for that matter and the guys who either can't afford to do that or aren't willing to and be it stuck uh, getting screwed over all the time so yes we got 912 experience and 15,000 credits but with premium we would have got 1300 XP and 23,000 credits so there is a significant advantage there to uh, getting their premium account which obviously they would have to incentivize that in some way <coughs> uh, recent progress I have no idea what this is I guess maybe leveling up the tank and your uh, proficiency in it and of course, as I said, I had done one battle before several months ago. Uh, my performance hit one, two, three, four, five tanks in total. Dealt out some damage, especially to this poor guy, our Genfro 32 RU. Um, and yeah, so there we go. That was a quick look at the M113. Let's jump into the upgrade and see if there's anything we can upgrade. Um, provides an injection of credits package. It's okay. What's this do now? The Green Dragon. Not gonna tell me. Okay. The logical thing here, obviously, would be to upgrade the various parts. Um, we now have all those. We get some torsion bars here, and with twenty-two thousand, we should be able to get this tank fairly kitted out. And there we go. As an essentially nearly fully upgraded M113. If we went to dealers and see what we would need to do to get the next one, the pattern um, cost 12,000. So, oh, okay, we're a couple of hundred, uh, actually, not even, a, not even a hundred XP short off unlocking the pattern. And the same goes for the, the lav here. So one more battle, even if I do terribly, just jump in and uh, run about, get killed first. Probably get enough XP to get two tanks unlocked. But alas, we're not doing that next. We are going to jump into the PT-76. It's a wild looking tank. There's no getting around it. Never played it before. But it unlocks the T-54 and M-41 once we get to um, the requisite XP amount, which 
I'm not going to be bothered wasting and finding out. We only have 54 ammo for this, but it's armor pacing, so it's probably a slower shooting tank. Slaughter. All speech has failed me there. It's a slower shooting tank, so it's not the one of the rapid fires like the M113. Uh, let's jump in here and see how it goes. So far, I have to say, I am liking it. And apologies if you hear a <laughs> weird noise there now. Someone has decided to message me at a very inappropriate time. And I forgot to move my phone away. Um, so far I'm liking it. It's, it's actively being developed, which is nice. You know, if you take a quick look through their uh, news feed on their main website, you'll see regular updates, be it small things such as uh, giving people a tank, uh, to major issues like further developing their PVE, uh, they're they're overhauling their graphics engine, they're they're just they're constantly plugging away, and I suppose they have to because they have a, a well established market in World of Tanks and now War Thunder with their ever expanding grind game uh, to tap into if they want to attract uh, any players at all. But it seems to be going have well so far considering. That there's you know 182 players waiting in the queue here. I kind of wish I could quickly spot how many players are online, and maybe I'm just missing that. But um, it seems to be going well. It's 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 got a nice clean sort of futuristic outlook. I suppose that matches the whole modern aspect of the game. Um, so yeah, tier ones and twos in this battle. Matchmaking seems to be pretty efficient in matching the teams pretty fairly. Um, no team seems to have any major advantage, it just sort of comes down to, to skill, I suppose. We're now on a desert sort of oil refinery kind of map, which I'm assuming it's a wreck. <laughs> and there's a bit of a, a harbour going on there with some ships. Um, the actual maps are pretty decent looking, to be honest. Whilst the tanks themselves don't... Um, don't seem to have much character in my opinion the maps are prettier than say world of tanks um then again world of tanks has been long for a right while they've only recently had a hd client update and even then it's still gritty and aged looking and it's you can just tell that the game's been about a while this game is using the cry engine 3 uh, don't quote me on that because i may have made it up um so it does have a modern sort of sleeker look and it doesn't look too bad. Right, so the objective, capture the pointer, kill all the enemies. Oh, wee bit of lag there. Doesn't matter what the match objectives are. My objective is never to die first. I just jinxed myself, didn't I? And boom! Satisfying. Very, very satisfying. How long now? Now, this isn't what you should be doing in a tank battle, but, I mean, the general feel of this map is like, it's it's well thought out, and they've put a lot of thought into it, and they've got, you've got your oil trucks sitting about, you could have easily just left the trucks off, just had an empty oil refinery, and a few buildings, or relevant buildings, but they have, they have oil trucks, they have trains sitting here, um, it just adds a bit of character and atmosphere to the map makes you feel as though, you know, it's it's somewhere where a battle may have taken place. If that makes any sense. Maybe I'm talking shite. There's a good chance of that. No. Where, where, where's the enemy? Is there someone going over there? Come on. Might get some action over here. Nope. It's going to take a while to judge the sort of depth of field of things and matching the uh, mini map up with what you're seeing in front of you. Which again, every game has. You know, it all has its learning curve, especially if you're similar to a certain style. Ooh. Sort of just jumping, jumping straight into the action here. Ooh. Ow. Where is 
this guy. Come on forward a bit more. Damn it. Come on. Kind of exposed here. Like I am the next tank in line for most of the enemies here. Man, it's hard to tell how far someone is away. Ooh, laggy lag. Come on. Boom! No penetration? Are you fucking kidding me? Right, let's just. Balls out, lads. Balls out. What is going on? Come on. Ah, oh, come on, really? Huh. Well, that went well. Sarcasm. Right, I didn't put any consumables on this guy, so... Commander's hurt. Commander's gonna stay hurt. As he gets for being in a shit tank. Hostile tank, identify. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Uh oh. Do I want to put my mose out? My mose out? Oh. I ain't gonna get out of this one alive, folks. I don't think. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, you sneaky bastard. <laughs> I just stole someone's hard work. <laughs> but I don't want to give anyone any easy work either. Where is this? He's looking this way, isn't he? Oh. Can I steal someone's hard work again? <laughs> I am a right prick. <laughs> I am not sorry in the slightest. Now to get pawned from halfway across the map. Hmm. Can we steal anybody else's hard work? Clearly what I was doing wrong earlier on is a classic mistake in a tank based game. And that was uh, shooting straight into the front of the tank. Where the armor is the thickest, naturally. Um, you obviously would have to go for the weak points. And, you know, if you just think about things logically at times... You know, you can do quite a bit of damage, even if you're in an inferior tank, simply due to the fact that armor has its limitations. Shoot at the right place, you'll do damage. And everybody's just racing in on this soil. This poor pup over here. Trying to get a kill. I'm happy with my contribution so far. I'll let them get after him. There's a third guy that isn't currently spotted, which we have to be careful of. Come on, reload. Disappear. Shouldn't be popping myself up in a hole since we don't know where the other enemy is. Again, there's another match where we have dominated. They're down to their final two tanks, whilst we have quite a few left. Um, and there's their final tank. Looks like he may not be. Uh, he may be AFK, which wouldn't surprise me. It often happens in these matches. Penetrated. Is that him dead? Nope, just unspotted. Penetrated. Oh, he is getting absolutely ruined. And now we just have a final guy that's running about. Oh, he's over here. Oh, come on, tank. Turn, you goddamn prick. That is a terrible turning circle. Maybe it's because I'm, you know, slightly damaged, to say the least. Don't be looking at me, don't be looking at me, don't be looking at me, I want to steal the kill. Uh-oh, he's looking at me. Uh-oh, 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 no, 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 no! Uh-oh. <laughs> I should have got that kill, but I obviously um, wasn't, I was just too desperate to get the kill and ended up hitting the strongest part of his armor. But we won, we did quite a bit of damage, we stole a few kills. Ah, uh, success overall. Let's see how we did this match XP-wise. First one of the day, they do have a bonus. It's like a two times bonus or something. So, 
it's always good to take advantage of that every day. It's one of the incentives to you know come back to even just for a few battles every day, get your first win, get a bit of XP bonus, and you know slowly make your way up through the ranks. Um, not too bad. 836 damage overall, five spotted, two kills. I'll take that. Um, not going to worry about upgrading anything yet. I'm just going to conclude here. Yes, this does have its problems and it does have big sh or big games to live up to a well established games at that but it does provide something unique in the sense that um, it's providing tanks that we see today in modern military um, and for a certain generation those are the tanks they want to use in games um, you take games like Battlefield for example you know it is all modern based tanks it's old fogies like myself, not that I'm that old, but um, who appreciated the more classic games um, where you are, not the, the classic games, but any shooting game you had coming up was always based on World War II. So you always had sort of World War II in your head. And when it came to wanting to drive tanks, you naturally then wanted to drive World War II tanks. This game fulfills a different need. It has a different feel to it. The matches are a lot faster. Um... The maps themselves are very, very pretty, and it'd be interesting to see how the PVE works, and see how you know how, does that provide a different element? Does it give it an edge over its competitors? But overall, I think I will be playing more of this game. I may be posting more videos of it. It'd be nice to see some of the uh, tanks further down the tech trees, and some of the other maps. And I also would like to play in this uh, free veteran tank, which again, to remind you, you can get if you download. And start playing the game before the 22nd of November. I'm pretty sure. If you don't get it, don't come crying to me. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. This has been the Punch One. I can't even get my own fucking name right. That is lack of professionalism. Take two. Oh. This has been the Panda Puncher, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.